going on everybody welcome back to how did it garage today we're going to be doing a review on raptor sd 60 inch so the reason why i want to do this is because i have recently in the past few days seen a lot of reviews about these hustlers sds a lot of them's the 54 inch deck and a lot of them's the older model but uh and i have the 60 inch newer models well now it's newer it's not it's a few years old now but and their reviews didn't match up with uh my mower so and there's a reason for that also this is a 2019 model as you can see from the serial number the first two numbers is the year that it was made so this is 2019 after they figured out all the issues and was going to replace it made in the us of a awesome anyways so if you were looking to buy one of these i would recommend first going and watching uh this guy's channel if i don't put it here i'll put a link in the description below he gives a really good fine detailed review about some of the issues with the earlier models dang that's a big horse fly which mine don't have but uh, it'll give you something to look for on your mower possibly or something to consider if you're buying if you're buying a newer one but those things that he said that had issues with i am going to check on mine so far on mine i have not done none of those things the only thing i have done on this which it has is 123 hours 0.8 only thing I've done to this so far, uh, and I've had it for about three seasons now, three or four seasons. Can't remember exactly when I bought it, but I have changed the blades just about every year because I wear them out because I'm I use this as a bush hog, and uh, I've changed the oil every season, and I changed the gear oil out last season. I haven't done it this year yet, but I probably will soon. And I had to change out the deck bearing in the center because these are not designed to crush metal. I didn't try to, but it's kind of what happened. I ran over a battery charger, come to find out, a battery tender, battery charger in my neighbor's yard. And it uh, it don't mix well with the front blade or these blades and bearings. So uh, I got on Amazon, I ordered a new deck bearing. It was, I think it was a 6205 bearing. I might be wrong. I'll put a link in the description below or put the number of what the bearing is here i took the part and placed the bearing myself i think it cost me 25 bucks i have not changed the belt on it i have not replaced the battery only thing i've done was fluids blades and a, a bearing due to me uh, my failure i had to plug a tire because of a nail that was my fault it ain't hustler's fault anyways now i'm going to back it up on the ramps and I'm going to check some of these issues that he mentioned in the video. And they might be there, they might not be. I don't know. I have not checked. We'll do it together. Let's go. So yes, this is a mess. I do blow it off every now and again. Uh, I do keep it outside now. I did have it inside, but I started, you know, working in the shop, having the bikes, and doing that LS swap, and I got tired of moving this in and out all the time, so I just went ahead and put it outside. One of the issues is cracks right around here. I guess through here, uh, that kind of looks like a crack there or a paint chipping. Yeah, I think it's just paint. Paint from the flex. Uh, one guy, I was, he was talking about these coming loose. I've never adjusted these at all, front or back. Still most great. That's all for me. Other than that, the, uh, the paint really ain't chipping on me, even being outside. I'm I'm pretty rough with this mower to be honest with you. I believe it's paint. I don't think that's welded there because there's a boat right there. But I think it's just the paint chipping from where you know it, it flexes and this pin. I have had somebody mention these pins uh, fell out when I first bought this thing. It seemed like uh, it did fall out quite a bit. It just vibrate and somehow come out or loosen halfway up. Uh, here recently. Uh, this season it has not done it at all. I don't know if maybe just maybe it's getting a little rusty or dirty or wore into place, but 
I haven't had no issues at all. I have not had to replace any belt at all. Uh, haven't had the belt come off. The deck belt, this belt, any belt, anything. Uh, the guy mentioned that right around here, there's some leakage uh, that sometimes happens due to the manufacturers of this, not necessarily Hustler. This looks pretty dry on both sides. No, no oil leaking. Uh, this right here breaks sometimes or cracks on some of the older models, but on this model, uh, I think it's fine. Normally, I jack it up from right here too on the back or used to before I got these ramps. I mentioned that sometimes these bend and crack. I think he said, oh shit, that's hot. Sometimes these metal brackets right here will bend, but I think that's only after that piece right here breaks. So once that breaks, your wheels camber in, and of course it's going to add stress to that little L bracket right there. Angle iron, whatever you want to call it. And add stress to this, but I haven't had no issues because uh, this model, it's all upgraded and ready to go. I don't remember if there's anything else he's talking about. I mean, everything looks pretty good. Belt, I haven't had to put the belt back on. Uh, fan, fans look good. Everything looks excellent. Everything works as it should. Mo's great. As long as you put the blades on right. For those who watched my first video. <laughs> that broke. Uh, I don't know when. But I'm about 99.5% sure that was my fault. The steering is off. It, it hasn't drove straight since I bought it. I talked to the guy because I know the guy that works at the dealership locally. Uh, grew up with him in a... He told me, I don't know how true it is, something about, from the manufacturer, they got to sell it that way. So if something was to happen, it don't just keep driving straight. You'll just sit there and drive around in circles. That could be a load of shit. I have no idea. But it hasn't been a big issue to me. I mean, normally, how fast I mow and how I mow, I'm, I'm constantly moving anyways. So it, it doesn't bother me. Like I said, I, I, I'm pretty rough with this thing. My uh, the the yards that I mow, which this is this is personal use. I mow my yard, my neighbor's yard. Combined, we got a total of four and a half acres. The terrain is a uh, is a mixed, some flat, some bumpy, some very bumpy, some you know hills, a lot of different things. Uh, and then of course I have used it to try to bush hog weeds back because it's trying to overgrow so i have used this way too much i ran over sticks i ran over rocks i ran over battery chargers all kinds of stuff i've used this to pull stuff with uh heavy logs if it pulled it um i use it to push stuff out of my way when i need to mow i mean i'm i abuse this damn thing and it works great i haven't had no issues raptor sd 60 inch deck not 54 oh yeah another thing on this model that's fixed i've never had this clog up ever 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 i've mowed through stuff before it's been you know i'd say every, every bit of this damn high like it i've used the crap out of this thing put that on there because i for some reason i can never remember the max pressures on this so i had to put that up there so i knew so that's not where I put it at. I put it 10 pounds less than that. But So, bottom line, would I buy this? Uh, that's a stupid question. I got one here. Obviously, I did. Would I recommend you to buy it? I don't know. I'm not your damn financial advisor. That's up between you and your wife. Unless you're me. You decide to go about without your wife. You gotta hear it. It's up to this day. Anyways, that's up to you. I like it. You can take that for what it is.